a Legionella risk assessment um, is an assessment of the water systems and assets contained within of um, a domestic water system. Um, a risk assessment needs to have things like um, nominated authorities, so who's responsible um, for maintaining the site, who's overall responsible, the duty holder, etc. Um, if there's on-site maintenance people, that needs to be detailed in the um, nominated authorities. It needs to have um, a full schematic diagram, so um, a plan of the water flow around the building, hot and cold water systems, cold water storage tanks, chlorifiers. Um, they all need to have full surveys. There needs to be surveys of things like dead legs around the building. There needs to be things like um, a survey of thermostatic mixing valves. Um, there should be photographic evidence um, of the things that are being detailed and there should be a summary um, of the risk assessment and any um, remedial actions should be noted in, in, in the summary section. So Legionella is important um, to test for Legionella. Um, it's potentially um, fatal, um, cause uh, you know, respiratory um, uh, diseases uh, and manifest, manifest itself from there. Um, hence why the government in its uh, HSE L8 ACOP HSG274 guidance documents requires a Legionella risk assessment and monitoring program to be completed. I mean, some of the most common risk factors we come across in a risk assessment are things like dead legs, um, showers that are not being used um, very often, cold water storage tanks that are dirty, and temperatures being out of control range. Um, showers that um, are not being used, um, you know, showers create an aerosol, um, stagnant water, aerosol, Legionella, it, it's, a, it's, a, it's a massive risk, one of the highest risks. Dead legs, um, say for example you've had um, a washing machine that's been plumbed in and it's removed but the, the pipe taking the um, water to the washing machine is just capped off in which stagnant water um, can sit and then bacteria proliferate. Um, dirty tanks, sediment in tanks, bacteria can breed, it's straightforward self-explanatory and if we have temperatures that are out of control zone, so if we've got cold water stored higher than 20 degrees or hot water not over 45 degrees, that's the Goldilocks temperature zone for bacteria to breed within. A Legionella risk assessment, I often get asked how often um, a Legionella risk assessment needs to be done. Um, L8 had a fourth edition in 2013, which basically moved away from uh, a risk assessment needing to be done every two years as scripted, as prescribed. Um, now, a Legionella risk assessment, if, for example, a site is low risk, it has mains fed cold water and a combi boiler, for example, no stored water, it may be that the risk, uh, the, re the review would not need to be done at all unless there's any changes to site. If a site is a standard risk, it has cold water storage tanks, chlorifiers, showers, um, medium risk, generally a risk assessment should be reviewed every two years. A Legionella risk assessment needs to be undertaken by somebody that's qualified and competent. Whoever is completing the Legionella risk assessment um, has their name on the document and it's, it's a legally binding document.